purpose. All right. Good morning, everyone. Hi, IG. Good morning. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Daily purpose. Oh, but before we do the daily purpose, this, hi, guys. This will be the COVID message for today, and it is called a mask. It is called a mask. As of yesterday, there were 83,000 cases countrywide in the U.S. that was diagnosed um, with COVID. Not 83, 88. 88,000. Uh, yesterday, there were 83,000 cases. Let me see something. And three days ago, there were 82,000 cases. So we are currently at just in less than a week, we have been at 253,000 cases of COVID-19 positive results. So please wear your masks, everyone. All right. And those of you that have it, pinch the nose. All right. Because that contains everything. All right. Please wear your masks. All right. We are heading into a really, really bad situation. And I have concerns for everyone. What is your message for today? Also, don't forget tomorrow, the other side of the view. And if anyone wants to be on the show, please email me. Go to tracybrownlive.com and let me know you want to be on the show. Um, if you emailed me already and I did not respond, please do it again. All right. We're going to offer up free readings, and you don't have to dress up for the show, but we're definitely going to dress up. I'm going to be a Karen tomorrow, because that's what I want to do. But go to TracyBrownLife.com and email me, email me, and say, I want to be on the show tomorrow. All right? It should be fun. And we're going to talk about, you know, twin flames and soulmates and all those types of questions that come up a lot in the readings, okay? Please wear a mask. Hi, Shannon. Hi, Teresa. Hi, Beauty. Again, if I didn't answer you, email me again. Don't be afraid. Let this be a fun event. All right. Three, three card poll for the daily purpose. Let's start with this one. Temperance temperance so what i'm getting from this card with temperance is that what you want will come to you i promise you what you want will come to you um but you have to be a little patient all right and it's about balance with temperance balance your emotions and try to be grounded at the same time also, I'm getting here for anybody who's starting a business. Be patient. Um, um, it took God seven days to make the world. It takes nine months to make a baby. You know, starting a business could take nine months to a year to see any profits. So please, you know, invest in time. Invest in patience. All right? I apologize, guys. My eyes are still killing me. Oh, I think I need some Benadryl for my eyes. Ugh. Whew, I'll never eat crab, a uh, faux crab ever again. Ugh. The next card is the Queen of Swords. There's going to be a need to speak up more. All right. There's also going to be a need to 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 maybe walk in confidence 
maybe is that what I'm trying to say? Walk in confidence. Hold on, guys. All right, there's going to be a need to walk in confidence. Um, and, and it may not be pretty as you become more confident in yourself. It may not be pretty for others, but it's okay to invest in confidence. I look like one of those Nigerian, uh, right? Don't I look like one of those Nigerian... Um, looks. I do. I absolutely do. All right. Last card is King of Cups. King of Cups could be, particularly for men, a need to take a solid position um, and to carry more sensitivity and emotions in a solid kind of way, like, like more caring and emphatic about care and let your emotions turn to passion. I think I'm talking to men this time. Also, I think I'm talking to men that uh, drink too much. You might want to reduce your drinking because it interferes with the highest quality of the emotions that you have inside of you. The men are no longer made of steel, but they're very, they're very worried about dropping the look. I'm a man. I'm a man. But underneath, with a lot of men, there's a lot of don't see me for who I am. Like, don't see the real inside of me because the real inside is scared. The real inside is concerned. The real inside is, can I truly protect my family for some reason? It could be a lot of things. It could be working. It could be job loss. It could be living off of unemployment. Um, it could be feeling like, could I fail? But I want to remind men out there that are doing amazing jobs that you are not failing. That COVID is here for reasons beyond the individual you. But it's, it is definitely not you that is failing. But it is something that you are going to have to maneuver around, all right? And so I'm talking to men this time for some reason or anybody, any woman that has a man that's going through something, remember that protection of your family, of course is financial, of course it is, but there's other type of protection and making sure that you and your partner Stay emotionally balanced, even in fear, even in concern, so that you could um, get around any COVID issues. Um, also, it really does help if you're honest and it's okay to say, I'm afraid, I feel concerned, I'm worried. I promise you it's okay to say that. Let me see what I'm missing because, um, oh, oh, this is the other thing. Because the woman is facing the man, right? And there's nothing anyone is going to be able to do too much about today, right? Because, again, 250,000, more than 250,000 people um, have tested positive for the COVID, which means there's going to be some structural changes. All right. And with that being said, I need women to not attack the men. I need women to figure out 
words that are supportive and that gets you know everyone to understand we could do this together but if you use a sharp tongue which is what this sword represents because it's facing the man and the man if you look underneath he is afraid look look underneath here i don't know if you guys could see right there he is afraid he's afraid And with that being said, no one needs the bullshit of this mouth here. No one needs it. All right? You got to be in this together. So if there's a sharpness in your mind, women, make it and use it to make a plan. All right? Not use it against the man who may not be able to figure out what to do because the last thing we want is for couples to break up but couples are going to break up for the wrong reasons and this might you we might be able to avoid a breakup because the temperance card is saying only time <clears throat> will handle this and if if i'm if you're around people that don't understand temperance and patience and time let me read temperance i think that's the best card to read today <clears throat> then I feel sorry for you. I feel sorry for someone that doesn't understand how time can be your best friend. And what can you do when there's nothing you could do? Think about that. What can you do when there's nothing you can do? When I used to work, there was no, when I say work, I meant, I meant not be a psychic. There was no such thing as there's nothing to do. Find something to do. That means clean out your drawers. That means the filing cabinets. You know, there's always something, always something to do. All right? And that's what temperance offers up. That if things are financially crazy, like find a plan. Talk to each other. Do not bark at one another. Men do not go inside where the woman doesn't know what to do. Come out and say, I'm worried. I'm not sure how we're going to do this. I'm worried. And if someone is honest enough, women, to say that to you, then you have to say, let's figure out a plan. Because temperance is the angel of time. And it's about having a balanced viewpoint. And it's remembering everyone that you're in the middle of the COVID. A lot of you are arguing and you're forgetting we're in the middle of a pandemic. Emotionally, no one is okay. No one. So staying together and working out a plan and communicating. I don't care if you say every day, I'm worried. Every day, the other partner listens until something registers and you're like, okay, why don't we start looking for jobs online? Do you understand? Uh, discretion, if you guys are having problems, try not to share it with others. Others are not helping you. Have mercy, have mercy on each other. But it's about balance, temperance, finding the balance. You know what, it's also about forgiveness. Forgive yourself if you lost your job. Forgive yourself if you couldn't finish school. Forgive the, your partner because he doesn't know what to do. Forgive your partner because she's Ah, arguing too much. Find a different space to see someone different and then pull them either out or down from their normal behaviors pre-COVID. Compassion. 
and friendship and cooperation and reconciliation. This means a lot here. If you want change, you be the change. If you want kindness, you be the kindness. Well, I think what I'm trying to say, Pamela, and I appreciate you saying that. I, I, I'm not sure I'm saying what you're saying because I just want to make sure that people's actions are bad. All right. So if there's a man that doesn't speak up and communicate with his wife, then we have to understand that with that off balance, the wife might be like, what are we going to do? So what I'm saying is he has to say something. He has to admit that he's not that strong man. He's not pulling his weight. He's scared. He has to say something. And when he does say something, I don't need arguing. I need, I'll listen to you. Let me, let me hear you. Let me listen to you. All right? Don't rise up and start blaming each other, arguing. You know, it's your fault. Please, whatever you do, don't bring up the past. We just have a major problem today. I do need men to rise up and be better. It is not going to be on, on the woman. All right? That's why I'm not, like, repeating that phrase. Because that means it's all on the woman. As always, as always. But I need men to pull their weight. And I need women to pull down the fire. All right. All right, guys. Don't forget. What are we talking about? Oh, I got a, a, a reading. What are we talking about? Call me if you want to be on the show tomorrow. Call me for your own personal reading today. TracyBrownLive.com. Um, Chango event tomorrow. Chango, light your red or white candles. Protect the protesters, please. Include Biden Harris and um, include the Brianna Taylor's boyfriend. TracyBrownLive.com. Love you all and thank you. Bye. Bye, guys.